It's like ice cream on my camera. Ooh. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amanda and I love ice cream a lot. So much, I make videos on YouTube about it. So since next week is Valentine's Day, I wanted to make a very festive flavor for the day. To me, Valentine's is not just about having a significant other to celebrate it with. It's just about telling the people who are important to you in your life how much you care about them. So I'm going to make a special romantic dinner for me and Julian. For dessert, I am making a red wine ice cream. Seems like a pretty simple recipe. I'll link down below where I found it. This isn't one of my own, so I'm really excited to try it. And then for tonight's dinner, I just really wanted to make it simple. I didn't want to spend a ton of money. I just really wanted to buy like the groceries and the wine. I, any decorations I have found all over my apartment and I just kind of made them more fun. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to join me every week on my ice cream adventures. I have no plans on stopping. So many flavors out there. That this is only the beginning. So I'm really excited. Let's get started. So about two bottles of a red blend wine. We are going to drink one bottle and then we're going to use the other one to make ice cream. So I'm going to start off by pouring the entire bottle of wine onto a large pot on the stove and I'm going to let it simmer for about an hour. It needs to reduce to about a cup. Then in a medium sized pot I'm going to add 3 fourths cup of brown sugar, 2 cups of heavy cream, and 1 vanilla bean and I'm going to let that come to a simmer. So after it's churned, it still needs to freeze for a few hours. that we made together was parmesan garlic finnelian potatoes, honey roasted carrots, some fried chicken, and some garlic bread. So I decided to make brownies so I'm heating my oven to 350 degrees and I'm mixing a half cup of unsalted melted butter with one tablespoon of vegetable oil then adding a cup and eighth of sugar, two eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, a half a cup of flour, a quarter cup of salt, and a half a cup of chocolate powder. Then I'm going to mix it, put it in my glass container, and let it bake for 25 minutes. Oh, and I also decided to add some chocolate chips at the end.
think it is. So here's the line. Ice cream by itself. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like pretty much just like the wine. Oh, it's really nice. It's good with the chocolate. Mm hmm. I like the bird. Is it like blackberries that's in the wine? Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of fruity. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like more of a dessert wine. That is really tasty. Yeah, that's a good brownie. It's really smooth. I don't know how else to describe it. I feel like if you like wine, you'll like this ice cream. It's good. It's a little tart. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Can you swap me the matcha? Yep, from right here. Okay. okay, well, I hope you enjoy today's video. And this is how pretty much we would celebrate Valentine's Day. Something easy and fun and something we like to do. And something that's cheap. Pretty much didn't spend any money on any of the decorations. I only I had to buy a couple food items, and then I bought the wine for the ice cream. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Have a good day.